Drishtadyamun followed the Pandavas out into the Kumar's house and was happily came back and told to his father that whom Drupadi is actually going to marry is Pandavas. Everyone were very happy. This was the last lesson. Now, coming to Indraprasth. Drupadi, uh, after Drupadi swamber, everyone were happy. Even Dhrit, even Dhritarashtra acted to be happy. And then, uh, uh, on the all the other people's uh, kingdom subjects to band, uh, uh, Dhritarashtra had nothing to had to agree to everyone that he is going to give the Pandavas the, the kingdom. They called it in the Prast. He gave him the Kandava forest in which they built beautiful farm, which they burnt and because Lord Agni asked and built beautiful palaces, beautiful, beautiful palaces, fountains, houses, etc. It was a splendid sight to see. It just opened your eyes. Everyone were happy like this. And then Yudhishthira thought to do the Rajasuyan Yagna. It is a great Yagna which kings do. In which a horse, a horse just goes around the whole world. And if any king stops it, then there will be a war in both the kingdoms. And if any kingdom, if this kingdom which is doing the Rajasuyan Yagna fails... And then they can't do the yagna. But if they win the war, then they can do. Sri Krishna was good. He was happy. But he said, but for that, you must kill Jarasandha. He not only for your Rajasunya yagna, but also because he is torturing many kings and princesses. He is taking all the kings for a yagna. So that he will become the universal ruler. First you defeat him. And then you can go. You can do the yagna. He was very strong. Because, uh, actually his father had two twin princesses. They, everything was happy with them. Except for one thing. And that one thing was... That, uh, that they didn't have even one single hire. Uh, and then once a Rishi came to them. They happily served the Rishi. They, the Rishi gave the king one mango saying that he can give that mango to any one of his wives so that they will bear a child. Both of them, uh, the king as promised to the wife's father of Kasi, have divided the mango into two correctly equal halves and gave it to both of his wives, as he loved both of them heartfully and equally. And then a magic happened when the people, when the child was born. He was born in two halves. Everyone was scared and threw him. There was, there was a very cruel Rakshasi named as Jara. Jara got curious and just attacked because both were just symmetrical and just attached both the bodies. And when he, and when the, the bodies got attached, lo, a crying baby was there. Jara, unable to eat such an innocent child, just gave it to the king. And on the honor of Jara, the king named this, his son Jarasan. He was good, but as time grew, he became very cruel. And Jarasan lesson ends.